We were chatting earlier about the opening plenary and the remark that Crown Princess Mary of Denmark made, which is less bad is never good enough. Mm -hmm. And you actually retweeted it, um, and so did many other people. But I wanted to ask you, how, how did that translate to you and, and your work at the fund? I, I loved that statement because everyone's talking women and girls. But I don't think that we're interpreting that in a way that really puts women and girls centrally. Well, and we chatted earlier about some of the things that, that you're most passionate about, and one of them seemed to be listening to women and girls. Is there an example of, a great example of this working right now that we can point to and say, you know, this is what we should be doing more of? Well, I think, that, actually, I think that the examples are growing. So if you look at, um, People or organizations like the Girl Generation, they're really making sure that girls are central to the decision making that they are making around their agenda. And I love that. I think that's really good. I think you find networks within different countries as well. In Gambia, they've got this great network of young women's organizations working on sexual and reproductive health activities. Um, and what I really like is that they're working with international organizations, but they're led by national organizations. And that means that the international organizations bring their own strengths, but they do not set the agenda. When those things work well, I think it's really fantastic. And I do think that more and more people are moving in that direction. But it's hard, it's hard for people to give up that power, even when they think that they want to give it up. I mean, it, with us at AWDF, one of the things I love is that AWDF was set up by three African women. They just said, we'll find an organization that will fund African women's organizations. I think you're seeing that more and more on the continent, and that really excites me. Yeah, and it actually reminds me of a conversation I had, a brief conversation I had with a, a young leader from Uganda yesterday, and she was talking about you know, the fact that her fledgling organization wasn't looking for funding as much as knowledge sharing and capacity building yeah. and so that just reminded me of, of your work and, and how focused you are on the capacity building aspect. Absolutely well because you know money isn't everything. <laughs> I think sometimes we live in a world money is important I'm not naive about that but it truly isn't everything and some of the biggest change we see just comes out of people's own ideas and their own determination to change their lives.